iPhone 15 lineup is causing quite the earthquake with the camera reviews and everything else. But don't forget, there is also iOS 17, which I installed on my iPhone 14 Pro. And there are some things that are not so much popular, guys. So I'm making this video to show you the best hidden features in iOS 17. And believe it or not, some of them really are features that we have in our beloved Android phones. And some of them are features where I want to get in my Android phones. So without any further ado, let's start a video, guys. The first thing I want to show you is this. So right now in the iOS 17, guys, you are able to finally search inside Spotlight. What does this mean? So let's say I want to turn on the Wi-Fi. I'm just going to type Wi-Fi and I'm going to get the Wi-Fi icon setting from here and it does even get better with things like for example Bluetooth because you just get directly the toggle so you can just turn on the Bluetooth like this well it's still not at the level of the Google implementation so for example voice memos you get just a link to your icon and when I type volume you pretty much know what happens on Android phone but it's still a very nice step ahead and showing that Apple is just trying to catch up on functionality. Another new thing here is the customization of the lock screen. So apparently you can not only change the fonts, right? And you can then of course also try to play with the size. So again, we have these features uh, arriving slowly at One UI specifically for Samsung, right? But you pretty much know like one of the main perks here is the fact that uh, the iOS is able to automatically put the clock behind some of these objects. And another thing that I'm still missing in the Android phones now, you pretty much know, yeah, like this one here, guys. So just if I'm to select this, I'm just going to directly get uh, a very nice clock behind uh, the main wallpaper and we can achieve this also in Samsung but it's not so easy and guys let me tell you a secret this is not even like the best part because why let me show you something else I've been bragging so many times in my videos that I want to have this functionality where uh, the iOS camera will just give me an outline from the ultra wide camera so technically I know what I would capture if I go from let's say 1x to 0 0.5 but now they have something else so i'm not sure if you can see this so i'm just gonna go now to 2x see what happens if i center the photo i'm getting here this yellow line the moment i decenter, right this line is off and the moment it's leveled right i just can feel the phone very very gently vibrating this is a new setting you have to enable it it's not on by default so you have to open your settings scroll down and find the camera application once you're in the camera guys you can turn on this is the level function and let me show show you something else that is new and it's absolutely killing it once you are in the camera you can go to record video there is now this lock white balance lock white balance while recording video let me show you why it's very important for somebody like me i'm shooting my videos at home but i guess not also only for me the moment i start shooting my video guys and you can just see if i am to turn to a white screen this here the background is gonna get crazy yellow and now back and now crazy yellow and this is absolutely killing the videos now what is this function and why it's so important if i am to lock the white balance guys and i am to start let's say from here now pay attention i have a white background the white balance is locked with this setting so now i'm turning again to a very white paper or page boom yeah so stable and i can pretty much do this like here so let's say i want to lock the white balance like this i'm gonna boom start shooting and now see everywhere the white balance is going to stay the same well if that's not something new well i don't know what it is but there are even more things guys now something that i am honest with you i don't use it quite so much but it's there now when you open a web page with safari right sometimes not all the time but sometimes you'll have the option to listen to a page so i've opened of course a steve jobs one just see here Steve Jobs. Okay. For other uses, <laughs> see Steve Jobs. And guys, the part that I like, Steve right? Paul Jobs. Besides, of course, and that uh, the iOS 17 on the iPhone will read the page to you. I, I minimize it, and of course, yeah, it is just <laughs> minimized here in my dynamic island. I, t I tell you, guys, it's it's a gimmick, right? But gimmicks are not bad all the time because it really depends on how you implement it. And yeah, I mean that's just simple. I mean, you know, right? they they really have their best software guys working for them i guess 
doing things like that. I mean, it's funny. We've tried so many things uh, on Android uh, that it's not really working like that. But also don't forget that the main reason for this is just to hide this um, this kind of notch. I'm not a fan of the notch, but okay, the implementation is there. And now we can listen to web pages on Safari. Also, there is a new way for you to crop pictures. So once you are inside your gallery, just open the photos, start zooming in and boom, you just get directly the crop button, hit the crop button guys, and then make a lovely picture of your S23 Ultra. And of course, you know, you can hold it, right? Hopefully for a cutout, boom, copying it. And I will now put it here in an iMessage just like that. By the way, there is also a new feature. Now see, there is some changes to iMessages, right? So right now we have all these applications. It's sometimes in, this can get a bit overwhelming, but you can go inside the settings, guys, one more time. Inside the settings, I mean, settings are really key, right? Specifically for iPhones. And when you go to messages, guys, there will be something called iMessage apps. And from here, you can decide to remove all these linkages. So let's say if I'm to remove all of them, they will pretty much never appear here from the plus. So probably there are more things like private browsing on Safari. They also did update some widgets, but I believe that those are the best new hidden features coming from iOS 17. And if you have an iPhone with iOS 17, go test these things. The camera level here, also the logging, all the white balance, the new crops, the reading from Safari. And of course, don't forget all the time, guys, the new enhanced spotlight search, things like this. I mean, this is just so nice to see finally functionality like this arriving in iOS. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, VST over and bye.